When we speak about our feelings, we often lie because our feelings are constantly changing. So, for example, we have a feeling of love to somebody, but it's a momentary feeling. We feel, oh, I'm happy to be with you, to be your partner. I'm happy that you are helping me out. I'm happy to help you out too because I care for you. But it is not always the same feeling. This feeling remains only for one minute. And uh, the next minute we are upset or um, we are disappointed or we are uh, anxious or we are uh, bored or we are waiting for something. So we don't express all those feelings. We say, I love you, I feel happy with you, but it's only that moment. Uh, what about the minute after? What about the minute before? And even the feeling, I love you, that feeling is very intangible, very hard to describe very difficult to pinpoint. We have no idea what we are actually saying. Uh, one day we say, I love you, it means, it means something. Another day we say, I love you, and it means a different thing. So, and actually, as we speak about love, we can imagine love being great or greater or so-so. And so when we say, I love you, or right after being getting uh, married, uh, maybe on the honeymoon, uh, uh, during the honeymoon period, we are very uh, ecstatic about this other person. But when we say I love you 15 years later, we are of course a lot less um, excited. So love is a different thing for everybody. And um, yeah, some people who say I love you don't mean anything. And some people who say I love you mean an arm and a leg. <laughs> so. But we ourselves don't know what we feel and uh, our feelings change. So we go out, for example, I go out here and uh, first I feel um, maybe a little bit tired of walking my dogs every day, day in, day out. But then I'm happy um, because the weather is nice and then I am restless because I want to go home or then I am upset because mosquitoes are biting me. So the feelings that I have about this place are also very intangible, very hard to pinpoint, very hard to understand. So how can I express to somebody what I feel when I don't know what I feel myself? I don't know what I will be feeling five minutes later. I don't know what I felt five minutes before. In Albert Camus' uh, book, uh, which was called The Stranger, um, as we know, the hero, uh, the main character, shoots an Arab, shoots uh, a person on the beach because it was a sunny day, because the sun uh, was shining. So uh, there is no reason for it, of course, and the sh uh, sun uh, shining strongly is just a, a metaphor for madness in this world. Madness surrounds us. We have no idea what uh, causes us to do anything. Someday we see somebody, we come up to that person and we strike a relationship uh, and this person becomes our spouse. Uh, another day we see somebody and we talk to that person and this person becomes our uh, devoted enemy. <laughs> so we have no idea who we are meeting. We have no idea uh, what will be our next uh, day like. Uh, are we going to safely arrive at work? Are we going to um, do what we promised to our friends? Are we going to keep this life in order? So the chaos that surrounds us is um, prevents us from being truthful. We have to make it as we go. Just as I speak right now and I'm trying to um, express my thoughts, my feelings, but I'm making them up actually because I don't have a coherent um, idea that I, of which I want to speak about. I just want to say generally speaking that life is full of um, incoherence and that we do lie constantly. And that is my general gist, but I am using different words, different metaphors, different examples. So as we go along speaking, so we go along living. Uh, our lives are filled with surprises and we are surprised ourselves by what we are doing. Not only others are surprised by what we are doing. So don't be harsh on those who lie because lying is inherent in our lives. Lying is a part of lives because it is winging it uh, as we go along. So uh, it is just uh, living a life in the, in the world of uncertainty. That is what lying is.